and welcome back to the second episode of Animate in Miner Mine Mine Imator tutorial. I'm sorry, I can never say that. But yeah, anyway, today we are going to be talking about explosions and violence and stuff. Well, not so much violence, but uh, yeah, body parts coming off and fight scenes and stuff like that. So if you if you want to know what these are, there, there's no blood or anything. But uh, I'm mainly doing the explosions and the well, the explosions are what I wanted to focus on, but I realised that that would only take up like five minutes. So, we are actually going to do a bit more than that as well. So, anyway, for an explosion, hmm, let's just add, we need to add two characters. So, let's just add these straight in. So, a model, uh, let's add, yeah, we'll have a human and our skin will be my skin. Our skin will usually be my skin or not just someone because it's just easier that way. Maybe because these are some of the only skins, but uh, as you can see, Steve's no longer there because I haven't moved my camera. So, um, character one is going to be a creeper. Here we are. So, as you can see, this is this. And uh, let's just add character one is here, and character two is there. So, character two. Char yeah, character two can move forward. Oops, I can just move him with that, but I don't know why. Okay, perfect. He's back on that. So anyway, as you can see, now we have a creeper and we have me. So we can have the creeper just like spawn at night time or something, but just for, just because it's easier to see, I'm going to have him spawn in the daytime. So as you can see this is how it's going to start and at about you know what 10 keyframes I'm going to have this part of him move yeah. and the left front foot and the right back foot needs also to move forward so now we have the left front foot Oh no, right front foot, I'm sorry. Moving backwards. This is just rough. And the left back foot moving backwards too. And then he can, oops. And then we can select all and we can have him move to about here. And then if we put a keyframe in for him now like we have and then we can put another keyframe in for him here where he is about here and let's have his right foot back this one forward uh, not so far forward not so far forward and then we have the right back foot which is a bit further back and we have the left back foot which is a bit further forward and then we have another keyframe just about here where uh, let's just click each separate part so we are going to want to reset that reset that reset that and reset that so as you can see we now have a creeper moving and if we take off its repeat so yeah we now have that but I think that that's a bit boring so uh, let's have about here and if we select his body now then we can change that X axis and this will also move his head okay uh, I think that I could actually move him forward a bit 210 I think I could actually move him forward a tiny bit Nope. All. And I think we can actually have them move a bit further forward. Let's see that now. Yeah, that seems slick enough. That seems slick enough. So, now if we go to this keyframe, and we go to this keyframe, and we have his body, and then we have the X rotation to there because if he just blew up that would be a bit boring so now we can change his body parts and uh, let's we need his back foot 
94, yeah, 94. I don't want it to be perfect because if it was perfect, it would look a bit off. But uh, now we can have that there. And if we just, yeah, so then if we have this one here, and if we reset the body and reset the back to feet now we have him kind of walking up to him and headbutting him but let's have him do that again halfway through him actually no we'll just have our character turn um so after he headbutts him our character is going to have a frame there actually no he's going to have a frame there and then by there because he's quite startled all is going to be rotated. All will be rotated. And now by this point here, let's have both of his arms. Now we are now going to focus on bending. So if we just bend them to about there and have the now let's rotate the camera so we can see this properly. Let's do a bit less bend. Yeah, that's good, that's good. So now let's select the other arm. And we want X. This. And if we then have this facing in as well. And then let's have his legs also bending. This is going to be a lot of focusing on a bit of bending as well. So, sorry, that didn't make sense, did I? So he's like going to be cowering, starting to cower because he has no armor on. So his all of him now can move down a bit. And then we can have another keyframe here, which is his legs, and they are they are fully bent. So about fifty percent. Let's have forty six. Forty six is good. And then his legs need to be a bit off. So about, you know, what? no, they can be yeah, forty five. There we go. So yeah, they can be a bit off. They want to be a bit off, otherwise it looks a bit odd. But uh, now we shall select all of him, move him down into the ground, and have his body actually rotating. Nope, that's the wrong way to rotate it. Nope, again, wrong way. So he's now cowering, and his head can his head can go like that and then about here we are going to want because the camera actually takes a while to warm up but um now if we show the camera timeline at about this point we are going to want an overlay and we are going to want it to be white so we click on color we select white okay and then we want overlay a hundred and then we also want the transition so we are going to want to ease in and then about here because it takes actually takes quite a while to move off so now as you see whoops oh, of course um, I'm sorry uh, actually that needs to be about there so then if we insert one and we have overlay zero there now if he will walk up to him Oh, oh god, that's a bit, that's a bit, uh, a bit fast. So let's just click that as instant. So, repeat. Oh, god damn it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, something's going wrong here. Oh, I know, I know. There's one here, and... Okay, so if we move that back, so about here, we want there to be a tiny explosion. So about the uh, okay yeah, this should work now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I messed up there. 
And now, see, that that kind of works. I'm sorry, uh, one sec, we need to go back, and then we need to insert another keyframe here, let's say, where the overlay is zero. And um, right about here, in the midst of the explosion, we want to turn off visibility for both of these guys. So now, as you will see, he walks up to him, he hits him, he explodes another gun. So yeah, that's pretty simple, but as I told you, uh, body parts can come off as well. So let's have him... No, we want this guy visible. And we want all to be reset. I said reset. Oh, God damn it. Reset part. Reset. Reset part. So now we can have all of him, and he can. He can. This is like the respawn stage. So he can spawn, and then if we insert another keyframe, quite a far way away, about here, and we can have his arms. Oops. Just delete that. And then we can have his arms lower. So reset part, reset part. Anyway, I told you I'd have body parts come off as well. And uh, yeah, so basically the way you're going to want to do that is to, let's just spawn another, I told you, you can rename these guys, but I do not need to right now. So let's add character and then let's make him a, you know what, let's make him an Enderman. Enderman, I know, I use Enderman lots, but there's a reason for it. So, uh, at the beginning, he needs to be invisible, like almost all of my Endermen are. And then, around here, you know what, no, here, he can be visible again. So, now we shall move him across. No, we set part. All of him, I'm sorry, I always get confused. That's that's probably going to continue for a very long time. So now, he is there. We can have his arms actually move separately. No, we need to have all of him move back a bit. So now we can have his right arm, no, left arm move a bit separately as well. So uh, now we can have this and... Uh, Shabam, there's an Enderman, and then about five frames later, six frames later, just to make it easier for us, he disappears, and character one, now he's, one sec, no, character two, whoops, why do I always, oh yeah, because I usually add these guys first, so now character two, I'm going to now if you click visible now the entire of its body will become visible so yeah we can't have that so uh, we just there's probably some better way to do this but I'm just going to make his head disappear and you're going to want to change it to instant so basically like once that keyframe appears it immediately just changes so as you can see now he hits him he turns around ah okay oh god damn it what what? What? No. No. And then, that keyframe, he has no head. So, why is that not working? Okay, for some reason that's okay. Let's try instant for that as well. So if we take off loop now. I'm sorry, I, I do a bit of messing about and tinkering because sometimes stuff doesn't work perfectly. See, there we go. So yeah, that's basically just... I'm not sure if that actually works properly, but uh, yeah, so it just disappears, it disappears, his head comes off, and now that's just for a bit of realism, uh, just have all of him fall backwards. 
So yeah, this this is basically how you make body parts disappear, how explosions happen, how all this stuff moves correctly. So you can make these animations slicker, as I told you, but that's basically some of the... Oh, whoops. Okay, that's just, that just like instant flop. Okay, so... But you can make this slicker, you can make it better, you can improve, but I am literally just teaching you how to do stuff. So that's 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 if you're wondering so okay so you have to do it to one before i do a bit of tinkering with this but uh yeah it it it, it works out good it works out good because with my computer like half of the time you can't even tell what animation is going to happen but anyway uh that was explosions and body parts coming off and stuff like that and if you enjoyed the commentary please leave a like and hit that subscribe button and if and I hope to see you in future episodes. So, yeah. Bye.